25 manners every kid should know by age 9. Helping your child master these simple rules of etiquette will get him noticed for all the right reasons. Your child's rude tood isn't always intentional. Sometimes kids just don't realize it's impolite to interrupt, pick their nose, or loudly observe that the lady walking in front of them has a large behind. And in the hustle and bustle of daily life, busy moms and dads don't always have the time to focus on etiquette. But if you reinforce these 25 must-do manners, you'll raise a polite, kind, and well-liked child. Number one, when asking for something, say please. When receiving something, say thank you. Three, do not interrupt grown-ups who are speaking with each other unless there is an emergency. They will notice you and respond when they are finished talking. If you do need to get somebody's attention right away, the phrase, excuse me, is the most polite way for you to enter the conversation. Next, when you have any doubt about doing something, ask permission first. It can save you from many hours of grief later. Next, the world is not interested in what you dislike. Keep negative opinions to yourself and, or between you and your friends and out of earshot of adults. Do not comment on other people's physical characteristics unless, of course, it's to compliment them, which is always welcome. When people ask how you are, tell them. Then ask how they are. When you have spent time at your friend's house, remember to thank his or her parents for having you over and for the good time you had. Knock on closed doors and wait to see if there is a response before entering. When you make a phone call, introduce yourself first, then ask if you can speak with the person you are calling. Be appreciative and say thank you for any gift you receive. In the age of email, a handwritten thank you note can be a powerful thing. Never use foul language in front of adults. Grown-ups already know all those words and they find them boring and unpleasant. Don't call people mean names. Don't make fun of anyone for any reason. Teasing shows others you are weak and ganging up on someone is cruel. Even if you play, even if a play or an assembly is boring, sit through it quietly and pretend that you are interested. The performers and presenters are doing their best. If you bump into somebody, immediately say, excuse me. Cover your mouth when you call for sneeze and don't pick your nose in public. As you walk through a door, look to see if you can hold it open for someone else. If you come across a parent, a teacher, or a neighbor working on something, ask if you can help. If they say yes, do so. You may learn something new. When an adult asks you for a favor, do it without grumbling and with a smile. When someone helps you, say thank you that person will likely want to help you again. This is especially true with teachers. Use eating utensils properly. If you're unsure how to do so, ask your parents to teach you or watch what adults do. Keep a napkin on your lap. Use it to wipe your mouth when necessary. Don't reach for things at the table. Ask to have them passed. Thank you. This has been a lesson on good manners that will help you be liked by everybody if you will learn them.